She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. The same curve. I always run over that fucking car. That respectable girl. Peace can get it on. He's got the dong. He's got the dong. He's got the dong. Peace can get it on. She did a previous live stream uh, before this one, but she was laying on the bed uh, most of the time, if not all the time. She only did a room tour, but she did another one on this stream as well. So I just thought I could kill two birds with one stone and just uh, upload this because the other one didn't show anything. She didn't say anything really interesting. So she basically repeated the same thing. So it's going to edit this one. Where am I gonna eat? I can't even move. I just had a bath. The bathrobes don't fit me. Redhead, blonde, and brunette. I just had a really nice bath. Should we get the charcuterie platter to drink with the be eat with the beer? And you can get cocktails. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. No, Accountable Beauty, nights in, did not have a coffee machine. Not one. Didn't even have toilet paper. So it kind of sucks that my life life is just like not settled. No, DW, I'm pretty far from Lachine right now. <laughs> Imagine I see you caught somebody pooping in a bush. <laughs> Jump! What if I what if I drop my phone? Oh my god. You just saw the sheet. <coughs> Pretty nice. Okay, let me try to dim the lights or something. Oh. What the fuck's happening? What's happening? What's that? God. Is that normal? Hi, um, can I order room service? Okay, I tried texting but nobody answered me. <laughs> um, can I, um, do I order with you? Okay, can I order a martini? Yeah, um, dirty martini. And can I get like extra olives in it? <laughs> um, with, um, gin please? And can I also order a charcuterie board? Yeah, that's fine, no problem, thank you. Bye bye. If I was smart and had good work ethic, I probably could be rich at this point. I could probably be make at least a million dollars, I'm sure. If I really grinded. Okay, what do I have to do to qualify to be an empath then? So are you telling me that I can't be an empath just because I tell people off? Breezy, I'm sorry, I'm not apologizing. That's fucking bullshit. Because garlic bread is fucking rude and she's defending him. He makes shit up all the time. Okay, it's your friend, but don't give me shit for defending myself. What the fuck, that's so weird. Hi, Breezers. I'm so nice and gentle, but yet I'm going to support really mean bully reaction channels. And at one point, like if you are negative and calling out every single thing I do and turning it into a negative, that's fucking bullshit. I find that a lot of these reaction channels act like they're fucking high and mighty and so much better and more righteous. They'll sit there and pick apart everything I do, let's say on Monty's panel, and he'll have the grossest people in there just picking apart every single thing, saying things like, ew, I would never stick my cock in her. Good. I don't want your cock anywhere fucking near me. Actually, I did hear Sarah Jane say something fucking... It's like, why are you here? Why? Like, they, they'll ask her, why were you a beezer? Why? Because obviously they liked hanging out with me, which makes sense. No, no. You talk about me for hours on a panel. You don't even fucking like me. Like, it doesn't even make any sense. Where's my charcuterie board and my dry martini with extra olives? Oh god, there's a huge bug in here. From the balcony. There's a mosquito in here. He wanted to give me this drink for free because the charcuterie board wasn't ready yet. And then Jose messages me just now. I can come see you at 2 or 3 a.m. if you want. Can I let Jose come over at 3? I don't get drunk. Let's get drunk and let Jose come over and introduce you. And then I was talking with Jose and I'm like, hey, should I do the OnlyFans? I'm on the fence about it. I've been meaning to come up here. And plus I have the museum passport. So I mean, I really, there's just so much to do here. And I live close to Montreal, so really. No, Jose doesn't, no, Jose is just for sex. It's not a date, it's not, um... There's nothing other than doing it. But regular doing it. Like he wants a regular screw buddy. Okay. Eat the eight dollar M&Ms, you're looking skinny. Holy crap a moly. Is this chorizo? Mm. Ew, I don't like prosciutto. The bed bugs are wearing tuxedos, stop it. <laughs> Has this hotel been a better manic splurge? Pretty soon her messages will be all consonants. <laughs> Ah, 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 ah. 
Of all the ones I'm talking to, I like Kevin the most because he's nice. No, he didn't ruin my self-esteem. I never had. I had even less before I met him, Mom Gail. I know I'm a mess, and I know I'm fat, and I know I'm gross, but I still feel like I deserve somebody who's not gonna hurt me, you know? I really don't feel like I deserve that, and I guess it just hurts to never get that closure, never get a sorry, never get a thank you just more hate and ridicule after everything I've ever done. I don't deserve three. I didn't know I had three STDs. What the fuck? <laughs> and no matter how much I really, 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 really wish things were different, but they're not, and they're never gonna be. So I just have to keep going every fucking day. It's just awful. Like I'm going crazy sometimes. And I know I don't have to put myself through this, so why do I still feel fucking like weird attachment? You can't expect the person who broke you to help you. I know it's so fucked up because like when you feel like that, you wanna go to the person you feel comfortable with, you know? Like But you're right, I feel it now. I feel he doesn't care about me. I feel it. It's just hurt because I can you know what helped me realize that hanging out with Kevin all day this man messages me I hope you're feeling okay you're so beautiful it's the mean it's the meanness I can't handle the meanness like it's it's one thing to not like me but then to like purposely do things that you know are gonna fucking hurt me you know like purposely go in the bed do things like that. Like, why would, why would you want to purposely hurt me? What did I ever do? I'm not even number two. Of course not. Whoever he impregnated, whoever gave me three STDs, had put my health in danger. My health in fucking danger. I didn't know. Oh. Mm. I wanted to bring him a weed care package. Care package. <laughs> and apples. It's funny, huh? D2 said that he doesn't smoke weed at her house. She's the biggest liar ever. She's a bigger liar than him. Believe it or not. <sighs> Unbelievable. You wouldn't believe it. Do you like Kevin or Moto? <laughs> Kevin is Moto Man. <laughs> I like Kevin. There's a newfound realization and newfound self-respect and boundaries are what is keeping me away from him. Go, bitch! You know why I'm still talking about it too? Because I'm just realizing all this shit. Like, I'm just like really seeing it. I know it's hard for you to understand that, but... I mean, when I met him, Amber, he told me he was the shit, and I believed him. <laughs> I'm not chef. Have you been served papers with S-Jam? Do you know how many people won't assume me playing cheeseburgers? Dee Dee, Natter, S-Jam, Sarah Jane. <laughs> I'm kidding. Now you can see that I didn't sleep. <laughs> we have some bathrobes that don't fit me. They almost fit. New sand, uh, some slippers here. Yeah, I feel relaxed now. I got I got some stuff off my chest. Hi. Hi, you piece of shit. Mm, yeah, and then here I was freaking out because of these blinds that went down by themselves. But there's a balcony out there, basically. Anyways, if you're wondering why I'm in a hotel room here, it's because I plan on doing content. Why am I at midnight eating a pack of noodles? Because my charcuterie board did not have cheese. You're never gonna believe what's in this. Okay, if you guess what's in here, you're smart. Little packs of sewing kits. I always thought that if I went to prison, I would probably have the biggest commissary collection. I would get my mom or my grandma to send me commissary food. Oh no, my grandma said not. Well, when she was alive, she would have. You know what my life feels like? The fucking Truman Show. Why do any of you give a shit about this right now? <laughs> Sorry. I always choke on these things. I must assert my dominance in jail. I would be a prison boss. You wouldn't last a day in the hood, not one. You're right. <laughs> I will middle class suburban family kick your ass. Your body won't be your own, but you won't die. Oh, no, 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 no. Nobody's claiming me in prison. I will die first. Yes. I would rather die. I will protect. If I go to prison, I'm not putting my hand in anyone's pocket. 
Let's just say that. You will have to gang up on me and beat me every day. I'm not taking a banana. No. What could I do to scare people? Fart, queef, something. I'm not doing it. Nope. Diarrhea on a cake, then sit on it. Ew. I am a lazy glutton. <laughs> I'm not going on the balcony at all tonight. L, check it out. I'm moving on up in the world. We went from bed bucks to complimentary yoga mats and $12 caramel corn. So what? Barbecue chicken had a sex dream about an adder. I fucking died. I, did you see the fucking thumbnails? <laughs> oh my goodness. I think things are only going to change when I get to go to Africa. Other than that, if I'm still in this part of the world, the hotel pieces are boring. What do you want me to do? Jump on the bed? It's fucking midnight. I should play The Sims. No, I'm suing. They're not FUPA friendly. L is the spoiled child of colonists. <laughs> Did your brain zap out midline? <laughs> I'm not lying. It's the eating out. You eat out more than lesbians in heat. <laughs> I should have like a safety deposit box. I've seen an old lady with pink capris and a weird hat and she went into the bank and she had bright pink lipstick and she said, I'm just here to deposit into my my security safety deposit box. Really? And what are you putting in there, ma'am? I need to be entering a bank at 70 with bright pink lipstick and saying, you know what? This was my foreshadowing. I need to be this lady. But then again, we don't take any of our possessions with us when we leave this earth. I don't like meat anymore. I'm going vegan. Are you sad that you're alone? Not anymore, I was earlier. Do you ever like to get super comfortable when you're super tired and watch videos about people who are like tired and can't go to bed right away? <laughs> Bye.